Hello, church. Andy Lack here again. Uh, this week, or today, I want to continue talking to you about spiritual discipline. Last week, I introduced the topic of spiritual discipline, talking in general about what it is and what the purpose of spiritual discipline is and why it's important. We learn that spiritual discipline are really God's way of training us, um, sort of like spiritual exercise. And why is it important? Well, we learn from 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 7, that we are to discipline ourselves for the purpose of godliness. And that should be the desire of every single Christian, that we would grow in godliness, in Christ-likeness, that we should desire to be more like Jesus and how we think and how we speak and how we act. Well, I wanted to get a little bit more specific today and start talking about some of the individual spiritual disciplines that we should be in the habit of practicing if we are to grow in godliness. And today I want to talk about Bible intake, that is taking in the Bible in its various capacities. We might spend a few weeks on this, but I want to talk in general about why it is so important for us to get the Bible into our minds and into our hearts and how to make that a practice, a habit in our lives. So the text I want to read from today is a familiar one to a lot of you. It comes from 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 14 through 17. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 14 through 17. Paul writes, you, however, continue in the things you have learned and become convinced of, knowing from whom you have learned them, and that from childhood you have known the sacred writings, which are able to give you the wisdom that leads to salvation through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. All scripture is inspired by God and profitable for teaching for reproof, for correction, for training in righteousness, so that the man of God may be adequate, equipped for every good work. Now, a lot of people consider the discipline of Bible intake, whether it's hearing the word of God from a sermon, reading it on your own, studying it, memorizing it, meditating on it, that the discipline of Bible intake is the most important spiritual discipline. Why? Because every other discipline depends on Scripture, because it is in Scripture that we find out who God is and what he's like and who we are and what he expects of us and what he desires for us. So if we don't know these things from the Bible, then we're not going to know how to do anything else. And those things are not going to be of any benefit to us. So we want to start with the discipline of Bible intake. And in this text we just read from 2 Timothy, we are taught three things about why the Bible is so important, why, why taking in the Bible is necessary for us to grow in godliness. And the first reason that Paul gives us is that the Bible is important because it gives us the wisdom that leads to salvation. Look again with me at verse 15. He says to Timothy, and that from childhood you have known the sacred writings, the scriptures, which are able to give you the wisdom that leads to salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. Quite simply, we cannot be saved if we do not have the wisdom in the scripture that leads us to salvation through faith in Jesus. Now, salvation is not in the scriptures themselves. Salvation, Paul makes sure we understand salvation, is in the person of Jesus Christ who died for our sins, was risen for our justification, lives even now to save us. But the scriptures is, is where we find out why we need to be saved in the first place, because we're sinners. It's from the scriptures 
that that we understand who Jesus is, why God the Father sent Jesus to bring us salvation. It's from the scriptures that we understand what he did in going to the cross and rising from the dead. It's from the scriptures where we are told that it is by faith alone in Jesus alone that we are saved. So the scriptures give us the wisdom that points to Jesus. Jesus says, these testify of me. So we need to have the Bible constantly coming in our minds and in our hearts because here is the wisdom that leads to salvation in Jesus. The second reason that Paul gives us that the discipline of Bible intake is so important is because it is inspired by God himself. Verse 16, all scripture is inspired by God. That means so much more than than just that God motivated people to write spiritual truths. Many of you have heard that that the literal word, therefore, inspired by God is God breathed. In other words, the scriptures, all scripture from Genesis 1 to Revelation 22, all of it comes directly from the mouth of God himself, using men to say exactly what he wants to say, what we need to hear. The histories, the poetry, the genealogies, the doctrine, the teaching, all of these things, it says, are inspired by God. They are breathed out by God. These words are from God. Peter tells us in 1 Peter 1, verse 23, that you have been born again, not of seed which is perishable, but imperishable. That is through the living and enduring word of God. Paul writes to the Thessalonians in 1 Thessalonians 2, verse 13. For this reason, we also constantly thank God that when you received the word of God, which you heard from us, you accepted it. Not as the word of men, but for what it really is, the word of God, which also performs its work in you, belief. We have to have this discipline of Bible intake. We have to make a habit of letting the word of God come into our minds and in our hearts because it is directly from him. This is how we hear from God directly through his word. And every word, Jesus said, every jot, every tittle, every little mark and letter and word is from God. And it's all necessary for us. The third thing, the third reason Paul gives for why we must make it a discipline to take the Bible in is because this word is sufficient to equip us for everything that God wants us to be and to do. He says in verse 16, all scripture is inspired by God and it is profitable. It is sufficient for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for training in righteousness so that the man of God may be adequate, equipped for every good work. We could spend so much time here, but get the point. The word of God, he's saying, it's not only inspired by God. It's not only God breathed. It's sufficient. This is all we need for life and godliness. God has given us what we need to know about who God is, about what we are to be, about what he's made us to be in his power at work in us. He says, all scripture is profitable to us. Every part of scripture is profitable to us. For what? For teaching. To to tell us what is right about God, about us, about salvation, about Christ, about life, about the right perspective to have. Scripture teaches us. It is the only perfect teacher we have because it is God's word to us. Scripture also does what? Reproves us. Reproves us. It's profitable. All of it is profitable for reproof to show us what is not right. Not right about ourselves, about the world. We have to be shown by scripture, not from our own conscience, not from whatever the world says, 
scripture, God alone tells us what is not right, shows us our sin, what is wrong with us. But it doesn't only do that. It teaches us, reproves us, but also corrects us. It doesn't leave us just pointing out the sin. It tells us how to get right. Scripture corrects us. How we are to repent, what we are to repent of. Who we are to turn to and how that looks. All scripture is profitable for correcting us. And finally, all scripture is profitable for training us in righteousness. That's what we've been talking about. Spiritual discipline in general is about training in righteousness, growing in godliness. And, and Paul says that all of it, every page, every chapter, every verse, every word is profitable for training us in righteousness. How to stay right with God, how to, how to grow godliness. What does he expect of us? What does he require of us? And what has he provided for us to enable us to do these things that he's commanded, that he desires, that please him, training us, maturing us, growing us, helping us to bear fruit. We get this from scripture. And if we think it's going to happen by every once in a while opening our Bibles, every once in a while listening to a sermon, we have to make it a discipline to be in the word of God every day. We can't flatter ourselves into thinking we're going to get it once a week, that somehow we're going to grow. We need God's word. We need God speaking to us, teaching us, reproving us, correcting us, training us every day if we're going to grow in godliness. Well, we'll talk more about this next week, but I hope You've understood from God's word just a little bit more about the importance of being in God's word. And if you haven't gotten in God's word today, other than listening to this devotion, take some time now to open your Bible, to read and to allow God to speak to you, to change your life. Let's pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you so much that you have given us your word, that you have been pleased to do so. God, we thank you that it is all profitable. Teach us how to listen to your word, how to read, how to study, how to meditate your word, oh God. That you might have your way in us, that we might glorify you. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you.